kids, do not attempt this at home. I am a professional internet gun expert. All right, here we go. What's up guys, good morning. Aloha and welcome back to the channel. If you're new, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future videos, drop them in the comment section down below. It's a beautiful day today. I got another hardship video for you folks. Today we're gonna be talking about the Six Hour Emperor Scorpion 1911 Fastback. We're gonna be doing a hardship test. This isn't a review on it. This is just doing the same crazy thing we did with the P365 and the Glock 48, running them through different uh, types of stuff, getting all dirty to see if they work, if they'll still fire. We're gonna be running on this one a little bit different because I got a lot of input. I'm down for input, I'm down for conversation, but a lot of people, a lot of viewers were talking about how um, I could have been safer, I could have been doing it uh, in a better way, and we're gonna be addressing that, we're gonna be doing it a little bit better. Also, I got a lot of feedback saying that this is stupid, it's not realistic, and blah, 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 and all this stuff. If you got it dirty, you would rinse it off. That's right, that's true. So in the uh, spirit of being more within the realms of possibility, we're gonna be um, putting these guys through dirt, dry dirt, dry sand, wet dirt, also known as mud, wet sand. So here we go. All right, this is our six hour 1911. And again, uh, 1911s are, the tolerances are very, very high. Or, I'm sorry, the tolerances are much higher than a polymer frame gun, it's really tight. So the 1911, along within the interwebs world, has a reputation for being not as reliable. Um, that's what they say, you gotta keep it clean and all that kind of stuff. So we're just gonna see how clean it actually needs to be to be able to get through full, some full magazines. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and load up our first magazine here. Okay, and we're gonna go through some dry dirt. So this guy is hot. Okay, okay safety on and we're gonna drop it in the dirt like you would drop it because you're being, I don't know, attacked or whatever, drop it. Okay, and then we're gonna drop it this way. Okay, drop it. Go like this. All right, let's see how it works. All right, we got a lock back here. Magazine's empty, this is a good start. All right, the next one we're gonna go, we're gonna go dry sand. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this guy out. We're gonna go ahead and make our firearm hot. Safe direction, finger up the chair, safety on. All right, so we're dropping it in the dry sand. Okay, we're gonna turn it over. Drop it in the dry sand. Maybe it went down into some quick sand, all right. Okay, safe direction, finger off the trigger. Make sure our barrel's not occluded. All right, we'll see if we can get to this. Got a lock back. We're empty, slides locked back. This is some good scores for the sake. All right, we're gonna move on. Let's do some wet dirt, also known as mud. I don't know why I just rinse my hand and put it back in the okay. All right. All right, firearm is hot. Safe direction, finger off the trigger, safety on. We're gonna drop it in the mud. Okay, drop it in the mud. Let's do a little bit of this because I can't take this being too much in the realm of possible, possible realm of reality. All right. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can get through my... Sand's been the killer. Sand's been the one that the firearms don't like. 
Yeah, and that makes sense because it kind of gets into everything, especially in the 1911, there's lots of little parts inside there. It's not a Glock. The Glock has little parts in it, but there's less, there's less parts in it than the 1911. Okay. Okay, our firearm is empty. Safe. Go ahead and get a magazine. We're gonna make it hot. Safety on, finger off the trigger, safe direction. We're gonna drop it in the sand. Drop it in the sand. Okay, we're gonna do this because I like things being extreme. Okay. All right, here we go. Make sure our barrel's not occluded. hardship test the new hardship test for my channel uh that's a little bit more realistic but uh, i hope you guys enjoyed it it's just something stupid something fun if you think this was dumb drop it in the comments if you think it was awesome drop it in the comments and uh if you want me to do another firearm drop it in the comments i'll see you guys next time thanks